Hi, it's Jen from Dizzy Quilter. I'm here to share my um, unboxing video for January 2019. The box came a little bit ago. <clears throat> I'm very excited. So I'm going to open it up and show you what I have. The lighting is not as good today because I can't be out in my yard because it's very cold. And nobody needs to listen to me shiver and hear my teeth chatter. All right. There's already a tiny little spool of this beautiful lavender orophil. Let's see. And a surprise package. I will be able to show you sneak peeks of this fabric in May. Usually what it is is a collection that's going to be released um, in the summer of 2019. There are... Oh, I'm such a boutique addict and I love this stuff. So these are stash builders. And what they are is they are, I think if they're the same as what they were last time, they are five inches by the width of fabric. And it's usually, yes, yeah, three different fabrics or four different fabrics. And they're just so pretty. But they never, it's funny, they don't usually go with anything they don't go with each other. They're not picked specially to coordinate it. They're just something to have in your stash. And I found them very useful when I was working on um, some of my projects just to have a piece that I could pull out that had all these pretty colors in it. But they gave me five this time. Last year they only gave me three. It's exciting. So there are those. And there's a lot in this box. So I've got two yards of rayon and this time I got purple rayon. And we'll see if I can figure out something to make with it better than that terrible tank top I made last time. Maybe I should stick to flat things like a shawl. Oh, so there's five more of the Stash Builder bundles. Wow. And some of these are animal prints. I see one that's kind of a giraffe-y. Look, those are so cool. All right. There are some Island Batik buttons. Fun. You can wear those when I go to quilt shows. Um, two more spools of Aurifil. This one is, no, this one's a different, the orange is usually the 50 weight Mako thread. <clears throat> the red top is a 12 weight, which is fun for a thicker, a thicker look on the quilting. And there's this cute little wooden spool of a peach color, coral color um, embroidery floss. And it's a regular six strand embroidery floss on there. I've used a little bit of the, the green ones I got last year. So there are eight one half yard cuts of Batik foundations. And it's, so they're blue and purple and blue. And this one, which actually I had some of this last year and I just used my last teeny little bit. I love that print and colorway. And there's a gray and a beautiful garnet color. I think the colors are off a little bit because I'm inside. I have all my lights on. But it's kind of a, it's really kind of a rich, it's more purpley than the video looks like it's showing. There's a beautiful teal, a nice dark blue, and then this color, which I think is, um, I think they call this one Peacock. It's got some green and blue and purple in there. It's very pretty. I'm excited to get back downstairs and start going back to work. Um, these, I had some of these last year, and they're fun to work with. They are solids, but they're the same fabric as Batik, but they're just a solid color. So there's a gray, a white, and a black. And that's that's great if you don't want to blend uh, the different textures of fabric in your quilt if you wanted to have all Batik, but you want some solid. These are fun to work with. It gives you that nice, that smooth texture. Oh, another surprise package. I don't know what that one is. Okay, there's, oh, there's more Aurifil. There's another 50 weight Mako in a nice blue color and a 28 weight. And it looks like it's, it's kind of wrapped in plastic. It's hard to see, it's kind of purpley. Very pretty. All right, I have a stack of fabric, which these are 10 inch squares. Um, other brands call them layer cakes. 
and they're very bright. Gorgeous. And then I have two yards each of coordinates to go with those, a light and a dark. And this one is kind of orangey pink with like a fern chop. And these ones are yellow with little daisies. So pretty. This is my favorite day of the year. And it happens twice a year. Oh, and a new scarf. I have one of these from last year. I think it's blue. And they're fun to wear, and it's fun. It, it quilt shows we, I've run into a couple of other ambassadors, and we tend to wear them at the shows. It's fun to find each other just based on who's wearing the rayon scarf. All right, and there is, ah, uh, all right. Five yards of a neutral print. This one's called whipped cream. And I actually, this is one that I buy by the yard and I've been considering buying a whole bolt of it just because I use so much of it. But it's really pretty and it's, it's subtle. It's great for a low volume background. It's got a kind of a wavy, almost paisley, but really kind of, I don't know if you can see it. It's paisley, but not filled in. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the way I do a free motion quilting pattern. And it's mostly white with some gray and light blue, so it's, it's a great background. Um, all right, and there's batting in here, and it looks like there's a lot of it. Hobbs was very generous this time around. I have a 45 by 54 Thurmore batting um, made especially for quilted clothing. Huh. Maybe I'll have to learn how to make some quilted clothing. I know my mother was talking about a quilted vest. I don't like making clothing all that much, but I'll try again. Um, here is a Hobbs Tuscany Silk Blend batting, row size. What are the words backwards? Sometimes I'm not as good with this camera thing as I think I am. Um, I've got um, an heirloom cotton batting, and this is crib size. Oh, a black batting. Wow. I've used these before. Sometimes I'm a rebel and I use a black background. Although it was more rebellious when I started quilting and they told me at the shop that I couldn't do that. So I immediately made several with black background. This is queen size. And it is an 80-20 blend. Actually, yeah, the heirloom cotton is um, an 80-20 cotton poly blend too. Let's see. And another one, this is heirloom natural. So this is 100% cotton and this is queen size too. That's great. I do like to make the big quilt sometimes. All right. And last but not least is a queen size 80-20 bleached cotton quilt. And this is actually the one that I was using the most when I was when I started long arming. Before I got had rolls of batting in my studio, I had uh, I bought the stuff by the case. All right, so there was one more item in our box, which I can tell you I'm a member of the uh, Island Boutique Ambassadors Facebook group, which is private for just ambassadors, and this was driving all of us nuts. We were sent an AccuQuilt cutter. I unboxed this yesterday when it arrived because I have almost no self-control. Um, I shrieked and I'm, dogs were barking in the neighborhood. Um, but it's this huge box and it's the AccuQuilter Ultimate Fabric Cutting System. And it's a good thing I didn't unbox it on camera because it's heavy and I was swearing. So it comes with this big cutter thing. And it's, it's awesome. <clears throat> This is the most incredible thing I could think of because last year I was looking at them and thinking that I wanted one and trying to figure out how I could get someone to get me one for free, how I could bamboozle somebody. And uh, I didn't even ask Island Boutique. Everybody got one this year. So it came with this 8-inch cube die thing, which I can assure you I'll be running downstairs and playing with in about 10 minutes. Um, but it came with all of these dies and what it is it's a set of eight dies and if you haven't seen the die cutting systems in action yet they're pretty cool 
So you take this die. This one makes half square triangles that I'm not sure what size they finish at. I have to look at it. Um, they t the two inch finish half square triangles. You stack up your fabric up to six layers of fabric. I think it's four if it's fusible backed. Um, you put your fabric on your die, you put your mat on top, and then you run it through your machine and it cuts the fabric and it use if you cut you know if you cut close to what the die shape is there's very little waste and it's very accurate which should mean I may get a lot more quilts done this year which is kind of hard to believe because I got an awful lot done last year but I'm really excited about that and uh, looking at our calendar I think March we have a challenge that includes AccuQuilt so all of the Island Boutique ambassadors will be making a quilt with the AccuQuilt cutter. Um, the other thing that came with it, where'd it go? There's this little pick, which I think is for pulling the fabric out if it gets stuck in the thing. And I tried to hide everything like on Food Network. It's not working as well as I had anticipated. Um, there's a book by Eleanor Burns, A Quilt in a Day Go Cube book, and this has it has a bunch of quilt patterns in it that ju just use the shapes that are in this block, which is fantastic. I don't even have to figure it out. I can just look it up in the book. Um, and then there's another die. And this one I'm really excited to use. It's a two and a half inch strip cutter. So I can make my own jelly rolls easily, which is good because I'm currently having kind of a jelly roll rub problem. And then the mat that goes with that. So that was the most spectacular prize to find out about. And then the longest four days of my life waiting for it to get here on FedEx. And FedEx was kind enough to send the AccuQuilt first. And despite telling me that the fabric would be here yesterday, it got here today. It was awful. Um, so that is my whole collection. That's everything I got. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much to Island Boutique. Hobbs, um, AccuQuilter, and Orophil for supporting us. And I look forward to making a bunch more pretty quilts this year.